2006, my husband and I sailed from uh, Nimea to uh, Vanuatu, and on the way we stopped into this magnificent harbour here called Port Resolution. We climbed the hill, walked down the track, and I saw an old water tank that had some uh, words painted on it. And it indicated that behind the tank there was a school, which was just a collection of grass huts, and uh, the principal was um, asking for support for his school. So, being a teacher, I thought, well, I'll go and see what the need was. Uh, and as it turned out, the need was quite great. Um, one, the main thing they needed was, was books. With me here today, I've got Wary Narrower. And Wary and I have been friends for many years. It goes back to 2006. When, I've, when Rick and I first sailed into Port Resolution and we climbed the hill and we found the Port Resolution <laughs> Yacht Club and that's when I first met Weary. Uh, education is our priority in which we have to uh, get our uh, kids to the school uh, and mostly because um, we don't have a lot of uh, facilities ar around the area so we're really happy that Susan can help out with this project. The Department of Education gave approval and the Provincial Planning Officer gave approval for the building to go ahead, but we really couldn't do anything unless the village wanted it. And Wary organised a meeting. The role Wary played was extremely important to the project. Vincent, tell me, how, what's the population of this little island of Tanner? Uh, okay, uh, the population, uh, we, we have about 23,000 people living on the island. Well, we've only got two more days for the opening and there's still a lot to do. So the soccer team have come down this morning to complete the, the paths that they have been cementing. We've got cement cars going all the way around the outside of the building. The, uh, the builders have come down and they're putting uh, the door handles on the, on the doors. The whiteboards are being mounted. Uh, we've got whiteboards in the, in the hall and the library and there'll be a notice board going up in the kitchen. We've got uh, Lynn Henderson and Sue Hall unpacking all the kitchen utensils. We've got, um, we're cleaning the, the windows, we're cleaning the kitchen, uh, the kitchen cupboards and the library shelving because this afternoon all the books should arrive and we want to have uh, it suitable for, for placing the books on the bookshelf. It certainly is a whole community effort and it's the men, the women and the children. Uh, each afternoon at four o'clock the chief, Chief Russell, goes down to the knuckle wall and he more or less tells the community what stage the village is at and what help is required. And for the next day the, the community come together and implement that. My name is Lakin and uh, Lakin Nyaham and I'm, uh, I'm from Tana Island. When I was here on during my first time here. The schools, uh, the classrooms were very old because this school used to be a mission school uh, a long time ago when the mission left. And then uh, the building were very old. Uh, with the help of friends, I, I, I hope they will help. I received the message from Susan and I was very, very, very happy. So I took Susan's address and I wrote my first letter to Susan. I need your help. I want you to help. Very Susan good. answered my letter. Susan answered my letter and said, okay, we'll create a partnership uh, between uh, Port Resolution Centre School and uh, Tilopia Park School in Australia. Uh, can you ask your students to write to me? And I will find students in uh, Tilopia Park to write to you. So. That's how we started. We started writing letters. The students wrote letters to students in Delopia Park, and I wrote letter to Susan, and then they replied. And after a while, they started sending uh, materials. We found it very, in, very important in the school. When Susan came 
for the second visit, I invited her to come to the school and we had a small uh, lunch. And I asked her to come with me to go to church. So after the church service, we started planning. We started throwing up the plan of the hall on the, on the, on the floor. And it was sufficient. <laughs> yeah, it was sufficient. And uh, we talk about it. And uh, I haven't had uh, an experience like this because uh, I don't, I don't really believe that something we were talking about will really come to reality. And it's a surprise, and I really, I can't believe it. It's like a miracle. And uh, most of all is the library and the computer. That's something which is very, very important. It will really uh, help the students in the school and also the youth in the community. It, it is uh, an access for them. And I think it will be a very big improvement or it will improve a lot of the skills in the community here in Board Resolution. Our dream was uh, before we have a broken building and then uh, the former headmaster was advertising it for us to have a better facility so that we can improve to another standard uh, of education like uh, junior secondary or something because that's our dream because most of our children are going very far from our area. That is why we want to develop this area to become a standard school one day. So we have uh, secondary in this area. That's our aim. building we will use it for uh, port school and community in uh, important functions like uh, wedding ceremonies running workshops and computer learning of computer skills with the children we will teach them how to use the computer to enable them to use computer sometimes in the future and also the books will be very useful in their language skills English especially I think it's very useful too in uh, our ceremonies in the village and also in education like uh, running workshops or meetings, etc. So because of the facilities, we can sell food for tourists, we can earn more money to make the maintenance of the building in the future. Yeah.
Jesus Christ our Lord, he has made us one. He will give us one. He will bring us home in peace together for the Father's house and your Father and ours. Acknowledge uh, Mr. Dagenham, Mr. Weri Narua, and Miss Susan for initiating the project. I also acknowledge the community, my teachers, my council, for making the project happen. I thank the manager of the Rotary team, Mr. Ray White, for transporting the materials so our buildings can perform this. On behalf of the school, we are very happy to have you today. And I'm welcoming you all today. Feel welcome. Warm welcome. of Tolopia Park School in Canberra, Australia, and I, Kerry Blaine, send our very best wishes on the opening of your new school hall, library, and canteen. And it was our wish that your children in Tana have the same opportunities that the children of Tolopia Park School in Canberra enjoy. Stand here today very proud very proud of my students in Australia who raised all the money to build the school, this new school facility at Port Resolution. I'm very proud of Rotary Australia and Ray White's team who managed the, log the logistics of ordering all the materials and ensuring they all arrive on Tanner Island. However, the people that I am most proud of is the community of Port Resolution. I think it's amazing, just amazing, how you brought, the whole village has walked together as a team, the men, the women, and the children, to build this fine building. I'm very much aware that, that it was built under very difficult conditions, with very limited tools. And I'm very pleased that Tarry offered his skills as a construction foreman. <laughs> Wary has told me how hard you all worked, including the little things, like how all the roofing iron had to be cut with a bush knife. But you did it, and congratulations. The students at the Tilopia Park thought it was doable and they set about, they had raffles, they had cake stalls, they had art auctions, trivia nights, cooking classes, fashion parades, they placed donation tins in Canberra businesses. I'd also like to thank Head Teacher Thomas for coordinating the final stage of the building. Thomas, I realise, had a lot on his mind. Not only was he running the school, but he was also organising all the final things. Look, I've been invited here to let you know a little bit how Rotary got involved in Port Resolution project. Uh, it was mainly because of this lady down here, Susan. Now, in 2006, I believe, you must have thought an angel floated in on a yacht because... <laughs> Susan had a big task, not only to raise a great sum of money, 
and do a project so far away. I declare this building open and it is now belongs to the Port Resolution School and Port Resolution Community. They also uh, put the money in for this plant. And it goes, Telopia Park School in Canberra, Australia, presented this lectern to the Port Resolution community as a gift for their new school hall. They would also like to thank head teacher Thomas Ware for the work he did in coordinating and completing the building. Yes, on the start of the building, I'm very happy to be in the group to build the, the building. We lay the blocks, then we put the roof in, then we finish it. At the end of it, we finish the class with all of us yesterday with some of my friends. I'm very happy to see the building finish. And you say uh, Susan was what? What did you say? <laughs> Susan is she's a very strict lady. <laughs> <laughs> Do not let him. <laughs> oh, I shall tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Have you enjoyed it? Have you enjoyed it? I'm very enjoying. It. And you must be very proud. Very proud to see. This is where I learn my skills how to build. Now when the house building is finished. Yeah. Um, and this building will be here for a long time and you will last last for about hundred years. Yeah. And you can always say you built it. Yeah. Sometimes when I die and then some of the family or some of the friends will tell my children, your father helped to build this building. To me? I, I really appreciate. I really ap appreciate what I have seen, and it's, I can't believe it, but it has happened. 